Okay, we got a lot of long requests to LRs on this thing, so a wide uh, of course. So yeah, what's up guys, I'm finally back though today. Got a really quick Duffy Battle video, I want to do that really quick. We got lots of new stuff for um, GFP coming up right now, but it's just this pretty easy game. And so, let me go really quick. I was going to make this all awesome separate video, but I was like, you know what, I'll combine it all into one, because I don't have to spend time on it, so I don't have to make separate, separate, separate videos. But of course, we have the part of Jeremy probably in LR, he's a tech LR, which is kind of insane. But um, yeah, he was, he's on the, on the course of Twitter, um, he's going to come up probably in two more days, of course, he'll get down and stuff like that. Um, because then LM16 is supposed to be getting part two for the Tanabata stuff, and so probably like, you know, go through, go through, go through, um, this probably is Jiren and stuff like that, so we'll just go use the A's, which is like, you know, it's a part one, so we should get that. It's about a couple more days, though, but of course, um, I'm really hyped for this, it's, it's freaking insane, though, like, it's weird, because, you know, everybody wanted Jiren, like, you know, we all thought he was going to be, like, with the Professed LR, but he's not, he's going to be, like, LR. It's kind of weird, though, because everybody wanted him to be like, the LR, him, and you are Master, you are Goku. Um, kind of weird, though, because... I guess they're not going to be, what, six here? Everybody thinks they are, but, I don't know, we could go, like, double LR or something like that. They are another LR, you know, full power gear or whatever. But yeah, um, he's going to be 10 about a part two. They'll probably, like, you know, turn off more on, like, you know, BJ and stuff like that, because then it's 16. But the thing is, I don't know, LR go home, they'll send their two for B-Jump, and, of course, um, um, LR took a little for 10 about last year, they were just for B-Jump. So, yeah. Um, I mean, a little stuff like that, though, of course, but yeah. Again, that shouldn't take out, but I don't think you want to do this video, though, but, Again, though, that's like kind of the basic person kind of got right now with all this stuff. So, yeah, um, LR Jiren, pretty much insane right there. So, it's like, okay, um, but yeah, um, of course, we got, again, a lot of stuff to go over there. Um, that kind of talk about. Because, again, they were, um, LR Gone, the Ghost and LR Tech Rolling. They were all featured in Vigil last year for, um, you know, Tim and and stuff like that. Kind of weird. I don't know what they're going to do this time because we only got like a few more days left. So, I think part two will be on the 16th. This is all about, like, you know, Day of Dale and stuff like that. You know, a little bit more info, whatever. But yeah, um, we are talking about just what you get and stuff like that, of course. Yeah. Of course, there's the new, um, Pride Troopers, they are a unit. Um, they're not an like, LR, though, but, um, there's a new Pride Troopers, a unit, I guess, from the side banner, I think. I think it's, um, these are the side banner unit and stuff like that. And that's seen a little bit of info for all these guys. They're pretty good, though, of course. We got the, um, Cook Home Dispo EZAs, um, of course, they are, um, you know, we got the EZA info. We got last night, just like, oh yeah, during the kind of process, brand new, yeah, I know, like, that. And then, of course, we got, um, a new, um, the fourth story event for the new, um, LR, you know, um, not LR, but, you know, um, Dispo and stuff like that, Dispo. Um, Pride Troopers, um, stuff like that, of course, we have the castle like goes into fire troopers kind of weird like you know you have 11 fire troopers um i think they could go into lr later because you know that's stuff, stuff like that because you know like probably 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 was like that a little bit but then it's like oh okay a little bit kind of weird but it's like um okay um i guess we can just deal with this i guess the fact i guess but yeah um again the red green story event casserole he's gonna be a new unit uh that's the name right there captain casserole he's um you know captain of fire troopers and stuff like that or leader, they kind of go back and forth to him being a leader and a cap. Yeah, um, another new LR Pride Troopers, but also regular Pride Troopers, not Topo, just for Jiren, but you know, we already have, you know, Topo, just for one on. Castle has a separate card, we have LR for Pride Jiren, and this is a new play unit, they are from the story event and stuff like that, of course. Typical stuff like that to kind of grasp, but yeah, again, there's a lot of new stuff that's been coming up this last week. So yeah, I um, mean, you know, there's some really good stuff below, of course, but yeah. Um, yeah, we should see stuff about a few more days and stuff like that, you know, for the down, so now I'm down for, um, Kind of a lot of stuff. So yeah, I was really thinking the Battle Celebration could be turned by a power thing for GT being because our Omega and the season for Vegeta and stuff like that, or, you know, because again, I feel like it could definitely be turned into power thing. I feel like Global could release the stuff maybe a little bit early. Maybe like just this stuff because the last year that we got to um, go to the first Piccolo um, story event. Again, we got the first Piccolo. I mean, it's like a story event that we can, um, you know, come up to 100% about that early for Global. So, you know, we can do two um, you know, units, you know, free play on um, the area. That's so, the first time we got it. Um, with um, Super Saiyan Goku and Gohan, and of course, maybe Super Saiyan Goku and um, Trunks of Vegeta. I mean, you know, I swapped out and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, again, though, we should um, see this um, stuff, up, stuff up in a couple more days. We have Topo, just for um, Topo, and this goes, of course, to the game. And so, got a stretch Topo. Again, I have him pretty much almost rainbow on board. So, it's kind of cool, it's kind of slow. But yeah, so he does all types of free for everything up 80%. Typical little stuff like that, they've been kind of doing. But that's really good, though, with like a new player. We don't have enough, um, that many units. We're going to easy this guy. Then we get leader skill. There you go. So, the screen damage, his allies attack by 20% for him, by 30% for um, one turn. Okay, that's kind of typical. Um, but this was still good though, you know, for terms of the punch bag you should get, it is a good, um, super sub unit for that, and one with that, of course, Topo, um, right here, um, nothing, um, Vados, the eight Vados that just came up with Kefla, Super Cap Time, I know, Gawasu Zamasu, I think, 
Um, making it a lot easier. They're all gonna be good for women guys. So if you're wearing that support, which I'm glad they need to get the most. So yeah, this is if this is without damage, it's really good. So he does attack and defense plus 70 percent for all allies. He puts one and attack defense plus 40 percent, and all enemies defense minus 60 to um, 70 percent. Reduces damage by 40 percent um, where there's um, where you increase um, 70 percent or less. So uh, I kind of get no, you know, or 70, you know, you get 70 percent for fighting. Hey, 7 11, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, of course, links to the category don't really change. But again, the final Trump card, Rome of God, special photos, the heroes move outside, they're all giving, supposed to be good for all those teams. Really special photos, because they're um, all getting bucks and stuff like that now, especially with the new units and stuff like that. But yeah, again, a really good support type unit. Again, they didn't change that much for him, though. Fast is definitely better. Way better, because again, he was one attack defense for 70, 70% for all your allies. That's really good. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, that's kind of lame. It's really good, though. Trust me, a really good support that unit. And you reduce the damage by 40%. Which is amazing though because you all, you all seen it with physical Vegeta Blue. He's good with that. So yeah, he's just as good. Like just a mini little version of him reducing damage and of course giving him allies key and stuff like that. Again, he's probably he's gonna be really good for the punchy bag machine event because you know he's going the defense because that actually does about that actually doesn't matter in the punchy bag machine event. What you're trying to do um again he's probably gonna be actually this is um the um STR Vegeta Blue kid is probably using the arrow. He might test that out. Plays easy and global, which probably would be like what December, October, or January, somewhere around that. A global. And the rest? Again, he's a really good support type unit. Him giving defense and stuff like that, again, attacking defense. He's really good doing that a lot for our allies and enemies, of course, you know, are going to damage. So, yeah, he's going to be good for the Punky Dagger scene event. He's going to be good for all the you guys. Know, again, you know, for all his categories, he's going to be good for all that. So, yeah. Um, again, a really godly good support type unit. Again, he's really good. Uh, the reason to him is enough. He is going to be a good support type unit. He's going to be buffing on the guys. Vegeta Blue, like physical Vegeta Blue is going to be good. Uh, SDR Vegeta Blue is going to be good for Punky Dagger scene event now. Because I've seen, I did actually did um, just some calculations. For numbers and stuff like that. Um, for Vegeta Blue, that actually can put you back to shooting back to Tim. He actually can't beat it. Um, I think I'm like 77 million. Um, for it. Uh, so yeah, um, for like Vegeta Blue can put you back to shooting back. So yeah, really good stuff right there. Um, I think this well, I don't think it changed that much for him, that much though. So yeah, he does APL key 3 or you know, 100%. If you're, if you're listening out APL, um, component, APL, um, unit 2 today, screen damage raises attack defense by 50% for 6 turns. Not though. Um, you know, if you're trying to reach like, your attack defense and stuff like that, because he is going to dodge anyway, so, um, a lot. Not that much, but he's still going to dodge relatively a lot. He's going to raise his attack defense. He's going to be good for longer events like this, but no good event, even though he's going to be able to dodge. And, um, if you are going to still be relatively good for this. So he does attack defense for 20%, and, um, has a chance of getting enemy's attacks, including super attacks, by 20%, up to 60%, as each, uh, start of each turn, plus additional attack, plus, um, 20% during, um, evading these attacks. So basically, I guess I'm like, I said, yeah, he's not broken here too, because the more he dodges, I guess, the more he attacks the end, attack he gets up to 20%. So this would be like 60, 40, 100%, 150, like, the more he dodges, the more of his attack he's gonna get and stuff like that. Again, though, um, again, like, he gets a good zone tournament power series, um, Universal Revival Saga and tournament, um, and, um, plus special powers. Which is, that yeah, I mean, because, you know, during the new, you know, Turbo, just from Castle or game, you know, all the new free play units and stuff like that, so all these people just this well. Of course, but yeah, um, again, though, he's gonna be, he's, like, uh, they both are good, like, Turbo's an amazing sports type unit, and this one's just uh, as good, because he's gonna be giving, you know, attack, attack plus, you know, he's gonna be just, I mean, they made these guys insane, though, they really made them insane, they are just insane, because, uh, again, though, for super attack, he's gonna raise his attack defense. The more he dodges, the more, um, yeah, he's not, he's not gonna be good for the like, Goku event at the end, because he's gonna be able to dodge. But he's gonna be good up against the SCR UI Goku, because his attack is getting decreasing. The more dodges he gets, especially as a start and stuff like that, the more dodges you get for him, the more attacks and stuff like that he builds up. So yeah, more, the more dodges you get, the more attacks he um, starts to build up up to 20%. So yeah, again, this is gonna be stacking, stacking, and stacking until you get the UI Goku, which probably was, he's not gonna take that much damage, because he is gonna support attack a lot. Again, you really wanna give him the super attacks. Um, even though, you know, I see him kind of on a lot of teams, he doesn't really get that much key, like, he doesn't, like, really get that much key. But overall, he's still going to be a great unit, though, and again, him, him, getting dodges and stuff like that, getting dodges, um, attack and stuff like that. Uh, basically, the more time he dodges, the more attack he's going to go up, so that's good, though, of course. And then we have the new boys themselves, of course, the new, um, units right here, which I'm going to go really quick. So, the new, um, int for Topo Dispo, um, you know, Fire Trooper is basically Topo Dispo Casual. Um, so the Universe 11 category, Universe 11, Special Pose, Key 3, everything up 120, typical stuff like that, of course. I was kind of near the LR, because they are, um, on the, um, banner and stuff like that, though. Um, so yeah, um, they get triple buff for LRs and stuff like that. And they get triple buff for, um, Universe 11 slash Special Pose, because, again, that's super good stuff. So they do screen damage, lowers attack defense, amazing, that's great. So additional attack plus one, um, 120, 120, 
Jefferson, Jefferson will be able to see or more people select the category on your team. Um, on your team, as the great guard, when there's another member of the category ally, that means in turn, in three, Jack plus 3% is defense plus, um, it's having defense plus 4% is, um, let's see, I, I, attacking the same turn, and key three is attack plus 3% and defense, attack defense plus 3% on 211, you earn universal 11 category. So basically, they're just universal 11 bucks. The more you have more the universal 11 category allies you have on the team, basically, the more universal 11 people you have on the team, they're gonna get attacked. Um, again, though, key, typical stuff like that. Again, those kids are really simple to do. So you do, um, of course, things are Supreme Warrior, um, Signature Pose, Tough as Nails, Hero of Justice, Captain Speed, Thermite of Power, Dragon Limit. So the categories are Universe 11, Universe is Violence Hot Dogs. That's your pose in Universe Again, though, they could be good for, I mean, you know, this is probably a better, better buff for Universe of Violence Saga, which is amazing. And, of course, um, Special Pose, which they barely needed, though, even that team is pretty much trash. But that's a good buff. So they just updates it for Special Pose, or Signature Pose, because that team is just sucks. So yeah, they yeah, good buff, but again, they just mainly just go about, you know, basically they have to have a universal level kind of going out, so on team, like your brand, and of course, Rose and the Quinta, they're basically all built like that, and all the kids are all built like that, but the little more attack defense is good, um, again, they're just built for universal level and stuff like that, typical stuff. So let's go up to the boy, Jidin, um, so yeah, I haven't seen that much for him though, so he does universal 11 on key 3, everything up 1 to 70, or universal level cycle, key 3, everything up 1 to 70. Oh, man, you're from the Bible Saga. That has so many freaking um, category um, allies now. That's so many freaking um, leaders now for that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit, Kakum with Goku, the regular other Jiren. So, you can't run this Jiren and other Jiren together, so it's good. Um, cost of damage, weight lower defense, uh, mega cost of damage, massive lower defense, and the medium can stun for the stuff. So, yeah, attack was 200. Holy crap. And um, keep us one per attack received. So, basically, every time you just attack. Seems to get up to max of five, which is insane. But if it gets all types of there's an enemy, the enemy attack defense are lower. Let's see when you use the prior two books for that. When you attack defense, and then when his attack is lower, then when their attack is lower, he gets, um, you know, his fight defense all types. Perform the critical when they, if there's, um, if, um, enemies gone. Okay, he's pretty much broken though. So his links are, um, Screw Warrior, Jockey Speed, and Fighter, Botley Realm, um, Pure, uh, no, uh, also Pure Fans, Coming to Power, Fierce Battle, with Little Power. Tag of the Universe 11, Room of Gods, and Full Power. Um, I was thinking it's going to be on the Universe 11, of course. Universe is about to Room of Gods, and Full Power. Again, Room of Gods, Full Power, again, <laughs> I mean, I best see Room of Gods, they don't need it, but they gotta get another good buff. So, his active skill is, um, Strength is Absolute, so, um, it activates, um, receives, um, five attacks in the battle, it can be activated only once. So, basically, I think it attacked five times, I guess, you know, because, again, a lot of defense units, like, in the world, doesn't get to event. It's gonna be good and stuff like that from before. So yeah, basically you can attack five times to active skill activate. Probably easy easy to active skill to get though. You know, probably you know next turn or you know. Um I do you know receiving five attacks and stuff like that. So yes, um executive skill does attack for 30% and turns plus um and attack attack uh, 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 30% attack attack defense for 30%, minus attack defense for 30% to all allies, enemies, um and they're stuck for one turn. Okay, that's really good. Again, he's gonna be good for the extreme super battle road and stuff like that. He's, he's basically made for that. Like, he made for extreme super battle road. Um, the God super battle road. Again, he's gonna be destructive there. Um, the loose skills are that pretty good. Again, him getting attack plus of 200% is amazing. Um, which is amazing. He's getting keys for um, every attack he, he gets hit for. And plus, you know, when he gets hit five times and stuff like that. Because that match, um, modifies for his um, active skin. So basically, when he gets hit, He's act and you know, when he gets hit, he's going to go up by five. If he gets hit five times, he's going to go up by five. And on top of that, when he activates his active skill, he's going to stun the whole team for one turn. He's going to run with the guys, he's going to stun the whole team for one turn. And that defense plus, you know, um, the attack hits is going to go up 30%. And again, though, every time he gets, basically every time he gets five um, attacks, his attack is going to go up um, 1%. His attack is going to go up, um, his attack is going to go up, um, 30%. Oh, with the, um, keys that go. Oh, I'm, I'm confusing. It's, it blends it all in together. Uh, so you get attack plus 200, attack defense plus 200. You get give him an additional, he's gonna give himself an additional attack defense plus 30%. When you activate that active skill, when he gets hit five times, it's gonna modify up to, like, you know, plus five keys and stuff like that. Every time he gets hit, it's gonna be, be effective against all types because the attack defense is more. But you want to use down there for the turbo and just throw the other whole unit. Because they are free play units. No, they are on from the banner and stuff like that. So, yeah. But you know, there's, you know, five troopers from Universe 11 free play units. Those would be good. Um, so yeah, really good buff though. Again, Jerry's pretty much insane though. So yeah, it's over one level today. This video goes a little bit longer than I thought. Sorry about that. Again, there's just so much that we go before this. So yeah, 
And that was 200. Again, the drones get, have a whole bunch of attacks. The effect of all attack is the enemy is stunned. So basically, you want to stun the enemy a lot. So yeah, triple move, got super battle world. The other universe is about the super battle world. Full power. I mean, he's gonna be good for all his teams. He's gonna have any chapter screens, so I like that. Really good. I mean, he's gonna be a similar LR unit, so yeah. I mean, they're pretty much broken. Him getting crits and stuff like that, you know, he's gonna be stunned. Which is gonna be insane. Cause it, 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 it'd be actually exactly what's going to all gonna be stunned. He's gonna be critting 24 7. Plus, he's going with four additionals. He's gonna be doing a lot. So yeah, Jerry is broken. He's pretty much good. So yeah, someone will go to the you know. We got a turbo and disco easy age. We got lots of new units, of course, coming for the army. No, um, you know, new, you know, new gear and LR gear and update. We got lots of new stuff coming, so yeah. Um, so I went a little bit too fast. Again, there's so much stuff to cover over, so yeah. Um, Jiren's pretty much insane. Again, though, him getting crits, attack for 200 and stuff like that, active skill and stuff like that. Insane. Turbo and disco getting an easy age soon. We got new three plays on this. Fire Troopers, we got new, um, you know, some of those Fire Troopers, so yeah, see you guys later though, thanks for watching, have a great day, great, I'll catch you again though, what do you guys think about LA Dream, pretty much on categories, pretty so good though, so yeah, see you guys later though, again though, peace out.